Hi friends, welcome back to Cadable. This is Engineer Brian Mumar. And in this tutorial, we will make a very basic mold in SolidWorks. Uh, this would be practice exercise 37 of this uh, playlist. And uh, uh, I will provide its file in the description link. So you can download it from there and you can practice. Uh, hey, uh, you can see that I am using SolidWorks uh, 2020. And if you are using a below version of SolidWorks or a future version of SolidWorks, you can still follow this tutorial okay so first we will make the part so let's go to here new select part and select okay and now we are in solidworks interface so first of all as usual i will change my background to plain white and i will set my units to mmgs so let's go to here front plane select sketch and here we'll make uh, some uh, uh, random lines first and then we will dimension these lines so let's say i will make one line here i will make one line here and i will join this line to this origin uh, this line would be vertical okay uh, let's go to your smart dimension and let's say this dimension is uh, 30 millimeters and let's say this angle is uh, 30 degree and uh, let's say the overall height is uh, 170 or let's say 200 millimeters. Okay. And now you can see that this sketch is fully defined. And my advice is uh, to always create fully defined sketches and that will not create a problem. So this is the half sketch and now I can use revolve command. So first I will exit this sketch. Uh, so now I will use this feature revolve feature. So first I will rotate let's say here now i will go to your revolve pause space and it is asking a plane on which the sketch uh, is created so i will select this one this is sketch and i will select this line as center of revolution and now you can see the preview 360 degree revolution and i will select ok uh, now i will draw uh, some fillets so let's go to your fillet and I will use a 10 millimeter radius fillet. I will select this edge and I will select this edge and uh, I will select OK. Uh, here uh, at the bottom, you can use dome command as well. Okay, and you will find dome command. Let's say go to your insert features and here is the dome command. Okay, you can use at the bottom. Uh, now I will use let's say some appearance to this part. So let's go to your appearance tab and uh, let's say i'll go to your metal and under metal i'll go to your bronze and let's say i will select polish bronze just double click it and appearance is applied now i will save this part so let's go to here save first i will make a folder uh, let's say in uh, new volume d i'll go to a new folder and let's say this folder name is practice exercise 37 and now I will select it as uh, sorry I will save it as main part okay I will save it uh, now I will use assembly method to create mold so let's go to here file and here I will use this option make assembly from part select okay and here I will let's say uh, click anywhere in the screen let's say I will click here and uh, I will change its background okay uh, here you can see that my part is fixed and uh, the uh, assembly planes are different from my planes so just right click and I will float it okay uh, now I will uh, constrain or match the planes let's say the uh, planes of my part let's say this front plane top uh, top plane and right plane to the assembly planes okay these are different and these are different so let's say first i will constrain this front plane select front plane of my part hold control button and select let's say this one front plane and make them coincident okay similarly top plane of my part and top plane of my assembly 
and make them coincident and let's say right plane of my part and right plane of uh, my assembly and make them coincident okay uh, this will not uh, create much fuss uh, now my part is fully defined and uh, now i can create its cavity so uh, i'll go to here new part uh, under insert components and uh, here uh, let's say I will select uh, front plane or right plane. You can select any plane because this part is symmetric. So let's say I will select uh, front plane. Okay. And I will select this one normal to view. You can, uh, if you don't find this, so just go to here view, uh, view orientation and select this one normal to. Uh, so let's select, let's say corner rectangle. I will draw one corner rectangle here. And first I will uh make some necessary dimension so let's say this dimension is uh, 40 millimeters and let's say uh, sorry i will first drag this line up to here and then i will give dimension let's say this point to this line is 20 okay now you can see that this uh, rectangle is not in the center so I'll take one center line. I will snap its midpoint and I will snap this origin and I will select this line and I will make it vertical. Now uh, this uh, rectangle is basically symmetric to this part. Uh, now you can see that it is still uh, not fully defined. So I will constrain it. Let's go to your smart dimension again and let's say this width is uh, 170. And now you can see that this sketch is fully defined. You can see here as well, sketch is fully defined. So I will exit this sketch. I will rotate its view. Okay. And now I'll go to your features, extruded boss. I will select this sketch that we just created. And I will extrude it up to, let's say 70 millimeters. And I will select, okay. Uh, now uh, I will not exit this feature. Uh, I'll go to here insert, I'll go to here features and I will find this option cavity. Okay, this option cavity. I will select cavity and here it is asking uh, design components, uh, design component part. So I'll go to my design tree and I will select my main part. Okay, that we just saved. And here uh, you can see scale about and uh, uh, here I'm using uh, just uh, a uniform scaling uh, you can use some percentages or uh, let's say coordinate system so i select okay uh, and now you can see that uh, the uh, cavity uh, is created so i will exit this and now you can see that we have uh, one main part and one cavity uh, now we can uh, make the uh, uh, let's say the uh, other half of the cavity using the same method or we can use uh, uh, another very important feature uh, in SOLIDWORKS that is mirror. Uh, basically, this will save uh, much time. So uh, let's go to here uh, linear component. And under linear component, I will find this option mirror components. Here uh, it is asking mirror plane. So I will select this face. And here it is asking components to pattern. So I will select this one in this cavity that we just created. And I will select this. Uh, next and here it is uh, showing the preview and I will select OK. Uh, now you can see that the two cavities are created. Uh, first we will give them some appearance. So let's go to here let's say steel and I will select brushed steel. I will drag and drop. Okay. Uh, now we cannot see the mold and cavity so i will use this option explore exploded view first i will select this cavity and i will drag in this z direction let's say i will drag it uh, exactly 140 millimeters and i will check this box done similarly i will select this one and i will drag it in the negative z direction and i will select the distance 140 okay done so uh, 
the basic uh, cavity uh, is created and now we can use uh, uh, exploded view animation I will select uh, collapse and now I will use this option animate collapse and here you can see the uh, two molds and part and we can save this animation as well by clicking this button save animation uh, so that's how uh, you create uh, uh, basic molds in uh, SOLIDWORKS uh, although uh, these are just for beginners and uh, you can create some very basic molds using uh, this uh, feature uh, so that concludes this exercise uh, I hope you like it and I will save my assembly uh, let's say uh, uh, assembly 1 Uh, I hope you enjoyed and if you have any question, any queries related to this tutorial or any other tutorial in my list, uh, you can ask in comment section. Thanks for watching and please subscribe to our channel for more informative and interesting projects. Thank you.